What up, Ben? What up, everybody? Guys, I added some, added another light to my room. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I added additional. Yeah, it's now started and it's over. What up, Joe? Yeah, I added an additional light to my room today, so I'm trying to see if it's, I'm almost, I mean, I'm trying to see if it's too much or if it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? If I need to add one more. Let's see what's in this little stuck. It actually looks really clear, don't it? Okay, I don't have any I don't have any loose cards here. So No, nah, I just may not I don't have any just random cards here. I took everything to the office. So I'm trying to see about, you know, what the lighting's going to do. Because, I mean, this is my this is my first day out with with the lighting anyway. Because if it's if it's good with this, then I'm going to run it run it right back at the office the same the same exact way. Show me more. Show me more. I don't think I have anything. I mean, I got, I got one little stack of cards here. That I was supposed to list like five weeks ago, but here I'll show you one. Here you go. Is the Bichette worth good money? Uh, not really. <laughs> I just honestly, I mean, it's a forty-dollar PSI ten. Yeah, I can't. This is probably the nicest one out of the whole thing. There you go. You see that over in the corner, right? So, we got about six minutes, guys, before we get started. Blue paper. I'm just trying, like I said, I'm trying... The only thing I don't like is that right there. There's an extra, there's an extra glare right there now. So when I show the cards, I'm gonna have to, you know, when we're going over the cards or whatever, I had to be something similar to that. Pack wars, yeah. This is Brew and Tail. <coughs> hey, don't don't start messing with me, Clayton. Yeah, I seen I seen you pop up on the name pop up there, and I just started laughing. Lying there, Kona. Yeah, I don't lie on anything. I don't know how. We do. We have we have five minutes. So, uh, I had to go. You know, because I'm industrial shelving poor right now. Every, I have all my industrial shelving. Every all of my shelving is industrial shelving, so I had to go buy another one today. Just just more shelving, <coughs> dude. That's old. That stuff's been here for probably two months or better. It's sitting. Hey, Vincent, it's sitting next to a brand new pair of Jordans that I've never put on my feet. And I think I bought those back in September. Yeah, that's that's how bad bad it is with me sometimes. But I'm going in, making another, making a, actually build another desk at the office. I'm gonna get rid of the one that I have and build one. So doing silly, stupid stuff, man. Trying to pass time, not looking over cards, becoming a breaker. 
nah, this is my last, I think this is my last weeknight doing breaks. I think from here on out, you get Aaron during the week. Dude, I've got, I think I have like 70, 70, 80 pairs of Jordans and probably 65 I've never had on my feet. All trans. That makes me nervous. All trans paid for. All teams were. Yeah, all teams were paid for. Uh, no echo or anything on you guys tonight. Living, living life. I know what I need to do. Look, you popped in the room. Watch this. Send me a picture of David Schnapps, S-H-N-A-P-P's Pokemon hits, please. He was supposed to do that earlier and he didn't. Just looking for numbered collars. Man, that's a number collars don't suck. We hit a low number. We had a uh, nice Lamar last night out of the actual Prism Hobby. So I've got that for tonight, and then I think I'm gonna do a couple of these sometime next week. So I may do these this weekend on Facebook. I'm not certain yet. Uh, I just, I sent dude the text to send me your, the pictures of your cords. He took them earlier today and I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't have him give them to me. All right, we got one more minute guys and we'll be started. I know this is going to be a pretty quick little break here. I do appreciate everybody getting in tonight. Um, everything will be packaged up, shipped out tomorrow. All cards ship. All... Uh, rookies are top loaded, numbered, and anything that I like, I top load it. So we ship pretty good for the most part. Team bags, cardboard, try to protect your cards the best as best way we can. Man, I bought. Well, see, that was the thing tonight. I bought. Uh, I bought a case of eighteen nineteens as well. So the eighteen nineteens cost me <laughs> way more than I was expecting, but I did buy a case of. So 18, 19s, and I'm trying to get a case of those. And then same thing with the cellos. All right, guys, 945, 2020 Panini Prism Football No Huddle One Box eBay Break Number Three. List is over here. Double cameras. I'm wearing gloves because I still have a busted thumb. So other than that, um, thank you. Good luck. I just think, I mean, my thing is, Bull Wicker, right now, I think basketball is fixing to just go stupid for the next few months. What up, dog man? So, with that being the case, I mean, hell, might as well do some basketball for a little while. Stefan Diggs, fantasy football, Super Bowl champion, brew because of Stefan Diggs. Ryan Tannehill, fireworks, no huddle, Michael Thomas. Keyshawn Vaughn, negative. It has, man, for the Bucks And Anthony Jennings. Yeah, but right now, I mean, if you look, basketball products right now, I mean, it's always, it, there's somebody new every day. So, today, let's just say it's Kobe White. Tomorrow, it could be Kendrick Nunn. You know, whoever's whoever's having a good game is whoever the more that's that's how the market's being pushed. Jonathan Ogden, Derwin James Jr., Deion Jones, Cam Akers, Emergent, and a Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy's a hair off right to left. That's all it is. That's more of a Beckett card. 
Uh, you got that pinhole right there. Yeah, well, see, you know, at one time, at one time, though, Bullwinkle, yeah, Ruby Hatchamar, um, at one time, all the majority of the big basketball was all overseas. Now, it's like the Chromies decided they were getting out of Chrome, and they got into paper for a little while, and then they got into big basketball. Jack Dole, Allen Robinson. Robert Woods, Cortland Sutton, Purple, and a James Morgan. You know, at one time, all the logo men, one of ones, all the big stuff was mainly overseas. 11 out of 35 on the Cortland Sutton. Soccer's nuts. Uh, me and Ben Gamble was talking about that earlier today. Adam, we were looking at Immaculate Soccer, and he asked me, so you know, where do you think it's going to be? You know, right now, Blowout's got it, I think, at 12,000 a case. I think within a week, it's up to 15, honestly. Le'Veon Bell, Laurent Duvernay Tortif, Adam Thielen, Bradley Ann, Annie, whatever his name is, and Justin Jefferson. Uh, well, it went it went astronomical high, Ben, and then the prices plummeted. So what happened? What well, you know? What I think was you like the Messi's, the Ronaldo's, the uh, Mbappe stuff like that. It all went stupid, stupid, stupid high, and then it tanked. So the closer you get to the World Cup and everything else, I think everything's going to. I think it's going to go back up myself personally. Troy Palomalu, Miles Sanders, OJ Howard, Devontae Adams, go hard or go home. You're going to have to if you're going to beat them in the playoffs. And Raekwon Davis. I don't see that's the thing though. I don't I don't know if I can if I can agree with that or not, Ben. Reason why is because I mean we got there's plenty of money here that we were pushing into certain other aspects of cards, you know, of the hobby. And now you've got, you know, I'm I'm not saying that these guys are geniuses or anything, but you got, you know, Gary V and a lot of the other ones pimping the hell out of products. Calvin Noy, Melvin Gordon, Sean Alexander, Brandon Ayuk. And Antonio Gibson. That is numbered 15 out of 79. It's a good hit for the 49ers. Who got those? 49ers. That's Russ. It's off right to the left, Russ. Yeah, you got guys pimping pimping players right now. So say, you know, there's a tweet tomorrow from any of these guys, you know, what is it, Steve I what is what's his name? The little DJ dude that's been busting a lot of Pokemon. Um you got him, you got you got Gary V. Eric, Gary V can come out tonight and say Jarvis Landry's a stud and Gary V's cards go for stupid, which I'm glad they do because I mean at Gary V, but Jarvis Landry's cards go stupid. I've made money out of all of it. Emmett Smith, Aaron Donald, and Joe Montana. This is Joe Montana's cousin from the Water Boy and Jason Huntley. Yeah, Aoki. Yeah, whatever. But I mean, he's got him a little card shop now. He's ripping, you know, him and a couple of other guys are ripping the first series of, you know, the first ever issued Pokemon. Are your Pokemon cards back? They are. They are. Yeah, they are. They they came flying back. I sent them a message and it was like, hey, these are Dogman's cards. And I was like, I'll get right on them. Mark Brunel, Matthew Stafford, Daniel Hunter, A.A. Ron, NFL MVP, currently the Chicago Bears daddy, Aaron Rodgers, and J Javon Kenlaw. Uh, the Miners are supposedly going to be playing at the sp spring training facilities, so... That's going to help a ton.
Yeah, they moved your bulk, bulk service to one day, free of charge. Will Fuller, Austin Eckler, Rondé Barber, Denzel Mims Red, and Aquez Watkins. Oh, that's that's what me and Aaron was talking about earlier. He was, you know, we, we were talking about, no, me and Jimbo. Me and Jimbo was talking about that, and it's 36 out of 50 on the Mims. You know, you used to be able to go through a box of 17 draft paper, pull out $1,000, Steelers Packers matchup. Man, the Steelers got a lot of work to do to get where they're going, buddy. Yeah, the Steelers got a lot of work to do. I'm just hoping that Aaron Rodgers does something crazy. They do and they win. Uh do I rip Prism football as well? Not as much anymore with the prices of it, Adam. Tyson Hill, Lamar Jackson, they're gonna beat the Tennessee Titans this weekend. And Antonio Gandy Golden. No one's beating Kansas City or the Bills. Shit. Mm. I, depends on the weather, Joe. Depends on the weather. See the 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 that game those games right there. This is what this is what I told told everybody. All right. Green Bay getting the number one seed in the NFC. You would rather play Aaron Rodgers in five degree weather with some snow on the ground than you would to have him beat you in a play in a dome where it's 70 degrees and his receivers can run around and he can do his thing. Joku, Saquon, Richard Sherman, Mike Williams for the Chargers, and Clyde's Edwards Hilaire. I mean, they started out on fire, though. That That's the thing. The Steelers, I, I don't know what happened to them. 59-79 on the Mike Williams. Yeah, the Bills or the Chiefs are going to wind up playing each other, but, I mean, you still can't count out the Ravens. And then, just say, for instance, that the Titans do beat the Ravens. Now you got to deal with Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill, who's like, I don't know what's happened with, with Ryan Tannehill. Marlon Mack, Joe Theismann, <laughs> Bo Jackson, stepdaddy. For the Detroit Lions, DeAndre Swift. That's a good-looking card. The Super Bowl is going to be Packers and Chiefs. I hope the Packers beat the hell out of them, too. No, yeah, I hope the Packers beat the ever living hell out of him. He did get snubbed. I mean, dude, he's got he's probably got one of the best receivers in the game right now on the team with AJ Brown. I mean, he's not he's not DeAndre Hopkins, but but damn it, the dude just flat out plays. Jameson Crowder, who had the line, Sabizi, Damian Williams, Shaq Thompson, Le'Veon Bell, and the Wow. Panini Control. Chase Young. Hey, was somebody... Where's Irish at? This is the reason why I had to go live. When I go live, I'd quit accepting invites. There's a couple of people trying to get invited. I just got a message like, hey, I need to be invited in the group. There you go. A Le'Veon Bell brilliance. Got any coats hiding in there? I like Jacob Eason, man. I he's my pick of the of the bunch. He didn't play. He just sat behind Phillip Rivers. He's gonna let uh, they're gonna let T. Y. Hilton go. They're gonna figure out another another receiver to throw in the mix. He said, "What throw money on that one?" Cameron Hayward, Dallas Godert, Anthony Harris, and there he is—the man, the myth, the legend, Aaron Rodgers, Joshua Kelly. Aaron Rodgers for the Packers. 
starts off bottom to top. Number 20 out of 35. And then what's going to happen, here's what's going to happen. Aaron Rodgers is going to win the Super Bowl. And then Green Bay is going to push him to the 49ers or the Cowboys. The trade for Wentz. I, I don't know if that's going to be them or Atlanta. Xavier Howard, Philip Lindsay, Bobby Wagner, Unstoppable. Dak Prescott, All Out. And Kyle Duggar. The Herbert hype. Herbert had more weapons than the other rookie quarterbacks. Wentz isn't going anywhere. He's liable to go to Chicago. They're liable to trade Trubisky for Wentz. That way both teams can complain about the trade. Jonathan Taylor did turn into a beast later on in the season. I thought he did very well. I had him again, I had him on my fantasy fantasy football team, so Odell Beckham Jr., Sean Lee, Jason Pierre-Paul, Akeem Nix, and Jake from State Farm. I'm not. I'm not a love. I don't. I'm not. I don't care for Jordan Love at all. I thought if you wanted, I mean, they did exactly what they wanted to do with that pick. They pissed Aaron Rodgers off. Jalen Hurts is not good. Uh, Jalen Hurts didn't doesn't play the way he plays. They're not in seventy percent of the games that they were in. I mean, he's young. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sold on Jordan Love, Yannick, Jaku, Danny Amendola, <laughs> Jelani Tavi, AJ Green, Pink, and. How you get Mr. Ryu? Yeah, that was that was Carson Wentz's issue. He had no zero offensive line. On the AJ Green, you're eight out of fifteen. It's a nice hit for the Bengals. Uh two is a bust. I wouldn't say he's a bust. I mean, hell, Tannehill couldn't win in Miami. Fitzmagic has to throw for 7,000 yards to, to do anything in Miami. Earl Thomas. Hunter Henry. Russell Wilson. Fred Warner Lockdown. And a Jalen Hurts base. Hurts base is actually decent. Since he was more mobile. Yeah. I can agree with that. Herbert wins five games, but two is the bus. Well, Herbert's... The thing about Tua and Herbert, though, Adam, was this. Herbert had 300 passing yards how many times? I, I would almost be willing to bet Herbert had 300 passing yards more about the same amount of times as Tua had 150 yards or less. All right, guys, here we go. We'll do hit recap. I didn't care for Tua at Alabama. I like, I, me personally, I was a Jalen Hurts fan, not a Tua fan. Antonio Gandy Golden, Denzel Mims Red, Quez Watkins, Aaron Rodgers Brilliance. Javon Kinlaw, Joe Montana, Jason Huntley, Antonio Gibson, Brandon Ayuk Blue, uh, Devontae Adams, Go Hard, Go Home, Raquan Davis, Bradley Ani, Justin Jefferson, Cortland Sutton Purple, James Morgan, Cam Akers, Jerry Judy, Michael Thomas Fireworks, Keyshawn Vaughn, Reverse Negative, Anthony Jennings, Fred Warner Lockdown, Russell Wilson Fireworks, Jalen Hurts, AJ Green Pink, Brennan Ayuk, Akeem Hicks, Jake Fromm, All Out Dak Prescott, Bobby Wagner, Kyle Duggar, Aaron Rodgers Purple, 
Joshua Kelly, Le'Veon Bell, Chase Young, Noah, DeAndre Swift, No Huddle Auto, Mike Williams, Clyde's Edwards, Hilaire, and Go Hard, Go Home, Lamar Jackson. Guys, that is the break. Oh, you're 100% correct. The Chargers, the Chargers running game was was done this year. So, I don't know, man. I just, I wasn't like I said, I wasn't sold on. I wasn't sold on a lot of the rookie, the rookie quarterbacks this year. Burrows, I mean, he threw for a lot of yards until he tore up his knee. Tua, Tua's, Tua needs a we a, a weapon. He needed a Jerry Judy type. You know, he needs a Jerry Judy type uh, receiver. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to be that cheap, Blaine. I really don't. Uh, the reason why is because you look at look at past year's quarterbacks. Even the bad quarterbacks are expensive. He said, "Keep the base, guys." That is the break. I appreciate you all coming in, buying in the break, talking football, baseball, basketball, whatever. I enjoy just talking sports and cards in general. Um, you think Herbert's for real? The O-line is just not that good. He is used to playing with five stars around him. I mean, hell, he went to Alabama. But, and this is what I'll ask you, okay, Blaine? I'll ask you a real easy one. Name the last Alabama quarterback that went to the NFL that was actually worth a damn. When was the last Ohio State quarterback that went to the NFL that was actually worth a damn? For Alabama, I think you got to go all the way back to Joe Namath. For Ohio State, I don't think there's ever been one. Yeah, Ohio State, I think they still waiting on one. And they're talking about dude going possibly in the number four pick. So that's where, I mean, those, those are, that's what Montana, Montana went to Notre Dame. But, <laughs> but I mean, think about it. Those are not, those are not quarterback savvy. You know, those, those, those colleges don't produce quarterbacks. Now you want a running back? Shit, that's where you go. You want a defensive back? You know, linebacker? That's where you go. But if you're looking quarterbacks, you got to go to. I know this is gonna sound stupid, but Wyoming. Uh, I mean, Florida, Florida State, Florida, Florida State's had more quarterbacks actually do something. You know, than than Alabama quarterbacks. Alabama's a powerhouse. Hey, college football wise, you can't hardly beat them. Hey, they, it's next man up. It's okay. You want to be a Heisman Trophy finalist. You want to win a national championship. Uh, I'm going to need you to set out for a year. You're going to play behind that man. And when you come in, you're going to be as big as he is, as fast as he is, and as good as he is. Yeah, Oregon. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, USC, you look at USC quarterbacks. You look at Alabama quarterbacks. You look at... Ohio State quarterbacks, all the big powerhouses, Michigan. Michigan got lucky with Tom Brady, and I think Tom Brady played four games at Michigan. But there you go, Bullwinkle. Wide receivers, Julio, Amari Cooper, Riley Ridley, Jerry Judy. Man, he's, Alabama's producing wide receivers like it ain't nothing in running backs. So right scheme, right player, right position. They're, they're also playing – Alabama and Ohio, not Ohio State necessarily, because Ohio State's like overrated. But Alabama's playing men amongst boys. I mean, it's like taking the New England Patriots and they're playing, you know, Texas El Paso every week. It, that it, that gets old. Watching that stuff, it gets old. <laughs> Alabama goes out there and drunk. I mean, right now, what's the line on the Ohio State game? Yeah, Ohio State did play very well against Clemson. They, they did play very well against Clemson, but how many people out there, how many people honestly think Ohio State's going to beat Alabama this week? Jefferson, Justin Jefferson went to LSU. Yeah, Justin Jefferson was, I figured he was going to be the first wide receiver taken and Ruggs was taken. You had Ruggs, Ruggs was taken first, then you had Jerry Judy, no, Ruggs. Jefferson, Jerry Judy, and C.D. Lamb. Those were your four. I think those were in the four in order. Jefferson and Judy might have been swapped. But Justin Jefferson should have been the first receiver taken. 
Now, this is what I like. I mean, I just I like talking sports, man. It just and anybody that the Cowboys draft, as long as they turn out to be a bust, I'm happy. Dude, good. I mean, he had Captain Kirk. He had Captain Kirk going up. Now, 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 Captain Kirk will throw the hell out of the ball. Okay. Jefferson was drafted after C.D. Lamb. See, y'all passed on him. Yeah, that's... No, C.D. Lamb's going to be great with Aaron Rodgers, Joe. Dak Prescott... Dak Prescott's the future quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> I told you, Landon, I got you a perfect team to root for, man. It's the Green Bay Packers. I mean, we've already got a picture of you in Houston with an Aaron Rodgers jersey on and a cheese head. So, I mean, it's okay if you want to come on over. It's all right. We'll let you. But you also remember what I told you earlier today. It's going to be hell if Aaron Rodgers goes to Dallas because I'm going to have to pick me another quarterback. I There's no way in hell I'm rooting for the Dallas Cowboys. No way in hell. I got two favorite teams in the NFL, the Green Bay Packers and whoever plays the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, I got two favorite teams in the NFL, the Green Bay Packers and whoever plays the Dallas Cowboys. I do. I think Rodgers goes to the 49ers or, or the Cowboys. I think Jerry Jones is tired of not winning. I don't have a clue, Bullwinkle. I think it's because we're actually brothers and we just didn't know it. Yeah, I think we're actually, I think we were adopted brothers. I think we were separated at birth, Bullwinkle. I do think they let Rodgers go. I think they pissed him off with the draft pick. I think they did that. They didn't attempt to go make the team any better. They tried to make the team younger. And let me rephrase that. They tried to make the team better without him. He's going to be handed a blank check. Yeah, I, I don't care. I mean, are you going to give him a blank check for, for an 8-8 eight and eight season for the remainder of his career? I mean, shit, we already see that it doesn't take much to get that side of the side of the, the division in the playoffs. So, I mean, right now, the Dallas Cowboys got me and Bullwinkle quarterback in form. I mean, Andy Dalton, Andy Dalton comes out, supposed to be the, the great white height, the savior for the Dallas Cowboys. What, they win three games? With the same exact offense that Dak Prescott's going to win five games with? The defense was terrible and the injuries killed us. You've never heard Aaron Rodgers say, Hey, man, we got a great defense. You never heard the great defense of the Green Bay Packers, have you? Because they don't have one. They have a shitty defense, and they go out there and outscore opponents. You know why they outscore opponents, Landon? Because they're a better offense than the Dallas Cowboys with less names. So, he said the injuries killed us. Well, the injuries didn't kill y'all. Jerry Jones killed y'all. Jerry John, y'all will never win another Super Bowl until that man relinquishes his robes. Yeah, Aaron, hey, you already know, dude. Last year, no, last year, last year, the offensive line for the Green Bay Packers, that's the reason why Khalil Mack became his daddy. Yeah, you remember, because I even said it, Khalil Mack became Aaron Rodgers' daddy. I mean, dude, in two games, I think he knocked that man on his ass 42 times. This year, the Pack had a top 10 defense. Do you know why they had a top 10 defense, Joe? It goes back to the great New England Patriots defenses. And I'll, I'm going to tell you why. Because when the other teams got to throw the ball from the second quarter on, it's not that hard to get interceptions. 
Look at how many points they gave up a game. Me and Landon had a discussion about this earlier today. Look at how many points they gave up a game. Look at how many yards they gave up a game. They gave up tons. You know another reason why? Is because it's, it's not that hard to give up 350 yards passing when you're beating somebody 37 to 12, 37, 19. It's the Drew Brees motto, dude. Of course, Drew Brees is a great quarterback. He throws, 50, he throws a damn ball 55 times a game. He's supposed to have 300 yards. So, I don't know. You you look at the – because everybody said how, how great New England's defenses were. Well, yeah, it's great when all you're doing is throwing the ball. Yep, I do remember that. So that's the reason why I say you can't – like if you say that the Packers defense is stout this year, I laugh at you. The Packers defense is the same as it's been the last seven years. The only difference is that offense is scoring just a little bit more points a game. You think Brady's done after this year? No, man. I think Brady's got two more years in him. And I think they're – I. <sighs> Regular season Brady and playoff Brady's two different guys too. That that dude's gonna be tough to beat in the playoffs, man. Oh, uh, Breeze, yeah, Breeze is done. Breeze hasn't been right since he came back. Breeze was done two years ago, though. I mean, how many times can Kamar or the defense save him? Yep, that's exactly what happened. Now, Landon, we talked about that when they drafted him. I was live the night they drafted him, and I said, when they drafted Jordan Love, and I said, ooh, they just pissed that man off. You don't think the first phone call that Aaron Rodgers made was to the GM with a big old bird finger? You know what I'm saying? You don't think he didn't hit him with the, with the bird finger and told him exactly where to go and what to do? Hundred percent. You're giving him all the offensive weapon. I mean, Devontae Adams is a good receiver, but who else? You got Bouting Scantling. I mean, you got Scantling. Oh, this. Yeah, you take him and put him with Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara is a stud. Hell, dude. You if you put Aaron Rodgers on the Minnesota Vikings, you got a Super Bowl contender. They got Thielen. They got Justin Jefferson. Dalvin Cook. Yeah, and then the second, the second draft, the second round pick, they say, you know what? We already got a damn good running back. Let's go get AJ Dillon. And Jones, I think Jones last year had the second most yards from scrimmage from the running back spot. They do always develop the receivers. They don't develop them. Aaron Rodgers develops them. I think this is. I think this is. And with them drafting A.J. Dillon, he's done. He's a piece of chicken grease on him. Yeah, Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson is, is the one that broke my heart, Bullwinkle, when they, when, they, <laughs> when they released him. When they released Jordy Nelson, that broke my heart. That man done done basically Wes Welkert his entire career for you. Got his head knocked off. Everything from his from his his chest up knocked off his body. And you release him like a bunch of punks. And he still had gas in the tank. Aaron Rodgers would have made sure of that. Oh, they did Greg Jennings the same way. <coughs> They've done everybody. That's how the Packers do to people. They they'll push them out. They don't they don't let them ride off into the sunset. They push them out. That's the reason why I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to be any different. I see, Bullwinkle, I still think, I still to this day think Jordy Nelson had another year left. Oh, A.J. Hawk, you better not ever mention his name. A.J. Hawk was half-ass trash anyway. Damn, you made money, Scott. Yeah, you made money. 
I mean, AJ Hawk, AJ Hawk and Clay Matthews were horrible. Them dudes couldn't tackle my mama. And she's paralyzed on her left side. She walks with a limp and they still couldn't. AJ Hawk couldn't tackle my mama. Now, I, did, I absolutely despised A.J. Hawk. This A.J. Hawk was the one that would do... He would do the dumb shit. Nah, he would do the dumb stuff, Bull Winkle, and he couldn't guard nobody in the pass game. Just look, let's be let's be straight up, Bull Winkle. A.J. Hawk could not guard anyone in the pass game. Tackling, eh. but he would always do that one bullhead play that would cost you 15 yards when you didn't need it. Matthews became a decent ball player. His first couple years, I thought he was overrated as hell. He couldn't tackle. Clay Matthews could not tackle his first couple of years. And then he settled himself down, and instead of trying to fly all over the place, you know, he settled down a little bit and played his position. Somebody just asked for something. I don't know what they asked for. Let's see what they just asked. Send you a pic of your teams that you got? The hell are you talking about? A pic of your team? Packers don't because they don't they don't play they don't pay anybody yeah they don't pay anybody all right guys I'm gonna get off here sort out this little bit of stuff real quick box it all up get it all ready to go and kick back and enjoy the rest of my night fellas I appreciate y'all coming in talking a little bit of football doing what we do Guys, thank you all. You guys be safe. Stay out of trouble. And I'll see you all later. Thanks.